All right. So I think um, this is more of a test and got everything set up. Okay. I'm not too sure about the audio because I can't listen to it and stream. I am hoping that later on I can look back and hopefully everything sounds okay. I think what I want to work on is I have some pictures of some of my dogs I've had throughout my life. Oop, not that one. Um, that I think I want to go ahead and do something a little bit more caricature wise. I've done a couple of um, watercolor paintings on some of my dogs and um, I want to go with something a little bit more stylized this time just because these are a little bit more realistic um, not hyper realistic but realistic enough that um, I want to try a little bit different style play around find a way to kind of exercise some drawing skills. So I think I'm going to start with this one. Let's get started. These are also prisma color markers. I got them at the same time with I got it with my drawing pencils. I like their I like their um what do they call these? Their illustration markers. Pretty good. They drop on really well. They don't bleed much, which is nice. Um, as you can see right back here, it's just a little one I did, but. I think this is one of the situations where it's definitely going to need color for to see how it might end up looking. He looks a little wolfy, but I mean he kind of did in person too, so I'm going to go ahead and erase some of That was a bunch of my markers falling on the ground. So that's fun. I'm going to pick this up real quick. So these are my Prisma color markers. So I'm going to play a little bit with the colors for him in the picture right here. He was mainly white, but he did have, once he got a little bit older, a little bit of um, tan along his back. So I think I might add a little of that just to the shading so it's not just pure gray. And this little guy is not going to take long to color in because most of him is white. So we're technically just doing a little bit of the shading and letting the paper do the rest of the work. And I just went outside the line because I was looking at the picture instead of my paper. But that's okay. We will survive that one. What I kind of found um, drawing him or drawing anything like him that he is a very... Not plain, but... Um, simple coloration is that there's a fine balance between going too simple and, and over the top like it would be really easy to have some of the shading be too dark 
and then it looks overly done or he might end up looking even a little dirty but also kind of have to find a balance where you have enough shading where it doesn't look unfinished or just plain and too simple sit here and do a bunch of drawings on paper and light sketches that don't get picked up by the camera at all and it'll be nice to be able to compare with this drawing what it all looks like just because it's pretty subtle if I was doing something more like um, I actually got a picture of his sister which I will eventually really give me a good um, aspect of what the colors are showing because there's a lot of so much contrast on her on the paper on the camera just because of the contrast so this is a very low contrast drawing just because of his coloration so that should give me a better idea of how much this camera sucks or if it works. I think he's getting close to being done. I am going to probably get a little bit of um, white acrylic paint and do, redo the highlight on the right eye and maybe a little bit on the nose. I don't think I want a bright white highlight on the nose but maybe just a little bit of more defined highlight on there. Now I think I'm going to use more of a brown tone for his shadow shading around him just so it doesn't blend too much with him so it looks more like the color of the ground underneath him so if i were to use a straight up gray on on his shadow underneath it will just kind of i mean you'll have the black line from the marker defining the difference but i feel like it will just kind of look like the color just bled down I've got some acrylic paint and I'm just going to do a little dot I think this paintbrush is past its prime I am going to add a little bit of um, purple. Normally when you have yellow lights, they, um, the shadows tend to have a little bit of a purple tint just because it's the complementary color. So I'm going to add a little bit of purple here and there on the darkest areas not all over but just on the darkest area so that again it adds a little bit of color I'm 
Okay. All right, I think this little guy is done and I have some stuff I have to do. What? Um, and this is mainly a test. If you watch, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. This is a little cartoon version of this little guy. I did make the ears a little bit smaller because I did feel that it would look a little too exaggerated. Um, and I want to try different styles. What I'm thinking about doing in the future is making the body very small and then having the big head and then I feel the big ears will make a lot more sense. Um, but I, I'm going to try to do this a lot more often and then hopefully that will help a lot with me getting back into actually drawing more often because I went from drawing all the time to really drawing and that's not good for me. So thank you guys very much. Have a good day. Bye.